We're starting in Salinas, California, where Rasmo Alonso, 59 years old, rests his head against a wall in a parking lot while he's waiting for the white farm labor bus to take him out to the lettuce fields nearby. They warm themselves by a trash fire, remaining upright for one of the last few moments of an entire 10-hour day that begins, ironically, with exercises. Frozen here in this photograph, they almost look like scarecrows. But below them is row upon row of romaine lettuce. Picking romaine lettuce, especially hearts of romaine, is more like a very closely coordinated dance between 20 workers and a big giant tractor. Ilanso deftly cuts each head of lettuce and tosses them onto a conveyor belt where women will package them, and eventually those are the bags that you and I can buy in the grocery store. The history of his labor in wet conditions, day after day, shows in the worn fingernails of his very, very strong hands. During his midday lunch break, Erasmo rests his aching back. For eight years, he has been stooping over the vegetable fields for as long as 10 hours a day, reaping a chronic back pain that he said felt like an ugly wound. But inside a strip mall clothing store near his apartment, Erasmo and his daughter Elvia hand over about $220 in cash at a money transfer counter. The periodic act of wiring money to his wife in Oaxaca defines their purpose here in America, because without such remittances, the family would fall deep into poverty. In Ayocasco, Mexico, about 1,800 miles south of Salinas, California, Catalina Sanchez, Erasmo's wife, has taken some of the remittances that were sent over the years and plowed them into the soil. Catalina founded a co-op of women bottlers of the Ayocasco nopal cactus. Together, this group is now about 100 women. They grow, pick, and prepare the nopal cactus. They will be sliced and sold fresh in the local market. She expects to make $90 a week. About two kilometers, or roughly a mile, from Erasmo and Catalina's house is the dream, the Ayocasco Bottling Factory. It stood for several months without a roof. Funding is coming in through remittances, in-kind donations from the Mexican government, and from expatriate groups in the United States. On a chilly summer night, Catalina Sanchez and other members of her cactus growing cooperative gather outside the Santa Maria de Ayocasco Church before going in for their weekly rosary and prayers. Catalina recites prayers to herself and keeps her faith. The sanctuary of the local church is where they always go to begin their week and to end their week. I'm Don Bartletti, photojournalist for the Los Angeles Times.